guys and welcome to the newest episode of my vlog so the reason I have my eyes fairly open and as you can see this beautiful sunrise behind me is that today once again I'm traveling to Tallinn after around one and a half month break of being home where I got to meet some friends met with my advisor consult about my thesis and got both of my Pfizer vaccines so now the way is free to go and I'm standing at the railway station of my hometown in the Slovak side of Komarom and I'm going to board that train behind us I think and go to the Slovak capital Bratislava or Pozhoň um, traveling a route I haven't yet so it's somewhat stressful because I'm going to take the train to Bratislava, then the bus to the Vienna airport and then from the Vienna airport I'm flying straight to Tallinn so I will do my best to document my journey even though I have those two big boys <laughs> to take care of but let's see how it goes let's see how what happens on the border it's gonna be an interesting journey once again come with me There it comes. Oh, it looks good. Why would it have the coaches from uh, the day? No idea. Should we put it on the inside as well? Vážení cestovníci, upozorňujeme vás, že počas celé cesty vlakom musíte byť chránení rúškom, šatkou alebo šálom, teda musíte mať zakrytý dos aj ústa. Cestovníci, ktorí toto nariadenie krizového krizového štátu a železničnej spoločnosti Slovensko nebudú rešpektovať, môžu byť vyhočení z prekrátu. Aj tým musíte kvôli preukážne prosím rešpektu. and now I have to find my bus that goes to the bus station. That'll be one of those red beauties. I also have to buy a ticket from the machine. Um, not like super familiar with the ticket and public transport system in Bratislava because I'm not here that often. But I should figure it out. I still have a whole hour till the departure of my bus. So I'm super on time, which of, of course makes me much, much calmer. Welcome to 2002, where you buy your ticket from a coin machine. Um, there's time-based ticket for 15 minutes and 30 minutes. I think, I'm not sure, but I think Google Maps said that my bus ride takes 17 minutes. That's surely a 15 minute ticket ride, right? That was quite easy. I'm sure that people are hating me for blocking a four seat with my suitcase, but honestly, what am I supposed to do? There's no space in the middle. I cannot leave it in the corridor because people couldn't pass by. So it is what it is. Luckily, it's just like five stops or something. Here we go. And I got up the bus. Now I have to walk like 200 meters or something like that. Just gotta figure out where the fuck do I walk. 
some tall ass buildings. It really feels and looks nice actually. Just okay, that's that's the new station and the old station gonna be across the road. I'm pretty sure of that. At least I don't have to lift the suitcase here. Um where the fuck am I really? It really looks cool. I didn't come here often enough. Victory! My usual tradition of chewing ginger root. I cannot recommend this enough to you guys. Basically, if you have car sickness, motion sickness, seasickness, you don't need to buy any kind of medication, you don't need a puking bag, you really don't need anything at all. If you have a single piece of five cents ginger root with you. I was living in Estonia during my Erasmus and I had to go to St. Petersburg by bus, which is when I realized that, oh my god, I don't have any motion sickness bill, I cannot do this. So I went to the pharmacy and with my no skill Estonia Russian English mix I started explaining that you know I feel bad in the bus and car so lady please give me something I got some green pills called Bon Voyage and uh, I used them and they worked well and I think I kind of tasted a hint of ginger taste and I was like hmm interesting is gingery and of course I went to read the ingredients reagents and ginger root extract and I was thinking to myself that, dude, why do I need to like medicate if I can just buy a super natural thing and be good with it? So I also did my uh, uh, Google research about ginger root and motion sickness. And turns out that sailors hundreds of years ago already used it against seasickness because it really cools your stomach. I'm not sure how it works, but it works. So what I do is buy the smallest piece of ginger root I find and start chewing it a bit before the journey, chew it every now and then during the journey and my car sickness really, it used to be really bad and it, it really helps and it's natural and it's cheap and it, it tastes a bit spicy of course but if you can put up with that it's great and if you don't want to be some kind of redneck like me and just start devouring the ginger roots you can of course make some ginger tea be creative and figure out what is the best way for you oh yes and one more thing that should be noted with the ginger i read that your goal is not to swallow it as fast as possible but keep it in your mouth for as long as possible i know it's yeah, a bit spicy. The bus. it's a pretty bus as well only i don't see the seat numbering oh, look at the charger outlet amazing bye bye bratislava it was a nice 30 minutes all right yeah there i indeed was just blind the seat numbering is there Here we go, Vienna Airport, uh, completely new for me. Um, 
Let's see what the hell is where, first of all. Uh, okay, this is a rival. Uh, I gotta have to find the porsche, but... Shouldn't be terribly harsh, should it? Okay, Terminal 3 check-in. I don't think... I don't remember whether my boarding said, my boarding pass said what terminal I am, but um, we'll find out soon, I guess. Last time I was uh, videotaping my time in the Budapest airport, the security personnel literally came to me, told me I cannot record videos and waited until I uh, actually delete the videos. I hope that it's not going to happen here. Oh, okay, this is a thing here. I almost didn't notice the display. Okay, so I need a Tallinn. Was it 12, 20 or something like that? Um, okay, it's not really here. Or is that the arrivals? Maybe that's the arrivals actually. Oh my god, I'm so confused, but hey, it's part of the adventure. Okay, so apparently for accessing the 1 and 1A terminal you actually have to go outside and uh, go to the other terminal. I took a break to check and actually none of my boarding passes, the itinerary, nothing, nothing has any mention of which terminal I would be departing from. Let's see if we get lucky this time. Seeing uh, departures sign this could be it okay was it 12 20 Tallinn yes terminal T1 the checking gates are 169 oh you remember 275 and it will be gate F we already know that as well so I'm gonna go find the check-in see if my suitcase weighs over 20 kilograms or doesn't because this is my only very left we got up to the normal level and finally it looks much more lively but is this actually how many all right this is gonna be not just the check-in for Tallinn but for all of the Ryanair flights so good that I came early once more Holy shit, I almost was in the queue for an entire hour. First of all, because everyone has to present all kinds of documents. And second of all, because I queued up a bit too early. So the passengers who were queuing for the same airline, but for different flight that departs earlier than mine, were given priority. So at the same time, the queue before me was getting shorter and longer because there were constantly people coming in front of me. Then I finally got to the check-in, the suitcase was only 17 kilograms, so all good, but of course I wanted to see my boarding pass and my ID card and the lady looked at my vaccination certificate and thank god that I filled this passenger locator form on the website of the Estonia Health Board because she also wanted to see that. Even though technically one should be able to fill it out when they arrive to Estonia, but Thankfully I was precocious and filled it and then she found everything alright and I was finally let go. So I kind of wanted to chill and drink my energy drink and you know charge my phone, do stuff like this. But I don't actually think I will have the time for that now. And yeah, going back to terminal 3 now, where I came from. Perfect. <laughs> I guess the Terminal 3 would be the low-cost airlines or something. So yeah, I will try to drink most of my liquids so I wouldn't have to throw them away. And then queue up for the security. At least I won't recall the time I lost with the waiting because the security check was super easy. This time I didn't beep, I didn't uh, have to take off my shoes or anything like that. So yeah, it's great. Alright, so traveler pro tip number two for today. 
Uh, since some people told me that one of the reasons I should make this travel vlog is that apparently I'm experienced with travel stuff and I was like, I don't really think so, but something apart from the ginger root actually indeed did come to my mind, which is the problem of liquid and drink water on the airplane. Probably most of you know that when you go through the security check-in, you cannot take, you know, any liquid, so you cannot take your water to the plane. Another thing you can do is that you take your empty bottle with you. No one can take away your bottle, so if it's empty. And after you pass the security check, you go to one of the restrooms and you just fill it with water and voila, you have free drinking water for your trip. And you can fill as many bottles as you want and no one, no one cares anymore, so unless you want some soda or carbonated water, this is hopefully a helpful idea to at least some of you have an empty bottle with you and ginger root <laughs> now that i'm walking through the airport and when i saw the jamie oliver's restaurant and this kiosk with promoting skincare products i realized that i accidentally lied to you guys i've actually been to the vienna airport before uh, it was when I went to the Leipzig Linguistic Conference a few years ago. I actually had to change planes in Vienna. So I indeed didn't see the airport from outside or the check-in area because I flew here from Budapest and then I flew from here to Leipzig. F2, F3, gonna be a long road to F31. <laughs> Must be some sort of special skill, but I arrived to the gate exactly when the line was forming to board, so... Yep. Here we go. great weather and <laughs> I really enjoyed it on the Italian airport you just have this complete freedom like, like you're just basically free to go wherever you want because people trust you not to go anywhere else or you're not supposed to and don't do any shit and people just yep going to the terminal um, and let's see if there's any kind of border control stuff or not to the baggage carousel I guess um, looks like there won't be any control I think at this point we can just go outside I'm not sure but I think the last time I came the control was actually first and second baggage carousel and since I'm at the baggage carousel I'm assuming that uh, there won't be one but obviously the bags are not serious either as the bag as the plane just arrived so I have to wait a bit either way Okay, so I guess that according to the current Estonian regulations, I am allowed to do this. Okay. 